transition room. It's Miss Haley, and today we're gonna have story time. I brought my favorite stuffed animal, Minnie Mouse, and one of my favorite books called The Secret Hiding Place, all about this little hippo. So before we get started, let's make sure and put on our listening ears. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Uh-oh, somebody drew in this book. We don't draw on our books, right? No, we need to take care of our books and make sure that we're being so gentle when we turn the page. Little Hippo was the pet of the herd. Every morning, the big hippos waited for him to wake up so they could take care of him. Shh, they whispered. Little Hippo sleeping. Quiet, ha, huh? said Big Charles. Oh, there's Little Hippo right there. He's taking a nap. And every morning, the big hippos pushed and bumped each other, hurrying to bring Little Hippo his breakfast of lily pads and corn. Big Charles said, put the lily pads here and the corn there. Then they all settled down to watch Little Hippo eat. One morning, Little Hippo felt mad. I don't want lily pads and corn, he grumbled. I wish the hippos wouldn't watch everything I do. I wish I could be by myself once in a while. Big Charles put a cool leaf over Little Hippo's head to shade him from the sun. Don't eat so fast, he said. Uh-oh, I think Little Hippo's not happy. All the hippos went along when Big Charles took Little Hippo for his morning walk. We will protect you, said Big Charles. But Little Hippo didn't want to be protected. He wanted to go exploring by himself. What fun is a walk with 19 hippos? <gasps> That's a lot of hippos. Wow. So without even saying, excuse me, please, he dashed toward a thorny bush. Stop, little hippo, Big Charles bellowed. There's a bird's nest there. Don't go in that tall grass where the zebras hide. Do you want to catch stripes? Little hippo stopped to look at an ostrich with his head in the sand. Come away, little hippo, Big Charles shouted. He thinks he's hiding. When Big Charles finally caught up with little hippo, he was hot and angry. That's a chameleon's house, he puffed. Come away this instant. When will you learn not to go poking into secret places, Big Charles scolded. Uh-oh, is the little hippo using his listening ears? Everyone in the jungle had a hiding place, it seemed, except the little hippo. The leopard hid in shadowy places, the tiger chose the deep grass. The birds curled up in the trees and even the elephant was almost hidden by the leaves as big as his ears. You're lucky, little hippo told the turtle and the snail. You carry your hiding places with you. What's it like inside? It's dark, said the turtle. It's dark, said the snail. Hippo was still mad at lunchtime. More lily pads and corn. But later, after his nap, there was a big surprise. We will play hide and seek, Big Charles said. Who's played hide and go seek before? I will be it. He leaned against a tree and started to count to 500 by fives. Who can count to 100? Now, said Little Hippo, whispered. Now's my chance to find a hiding place of my very own. He raced to the flowering trees. Little hippo, little hippo, come hide with us. Is he looking for his friends? But little hippo wanted his own hiding place. I'll hide in the river, he decided. Oh no, little hippo, little hippo. Come hide with us. What's that? What does the lion say? 
The lion laughed when he saw little Hippo trying to crawl under a rock. Silly Hippo, he said. That's no place to hide. Follow me. You can hide in my cave. Are we almost there? said little Hippo. We are here, said the lion. Make yourself at home. Then he went hunting for his dinner and left little Hippo all alone. The cave was dark and filled with bat squeaks and wind noises. Squeak, squeak, swish, swish. I'm scared, said little Hippo. I don't want to be alone this much. Uh-oh, can you find little Hippo? He's hiding. I think he's lonely. Little Hippo was so frightened that he ran out of the cave without looking where he was going and fell on top of a cross old sleepy rhinoceros. Oh, it's a rhino. The rhino jumped up with a terrible snort and the little hippo ran. He ran for a long, long time. Finally, he sank to the ground in a little heap. Whew, I can't run anymore. Just then, the chameleon put his head out of the house. Why, hello, little hippo, he said. Are you, what are you doing here? I'm lost, said little hippo. You're lost, said chameleon, smiling. Follow me. He led little hippo to the top of a small hill. Now look, little hippo. Where is he going? And there, right below him, was big Charles. There's daddy. He and all the other hippos were looking for something. I wonder what they're looking for. Little hippo! Come out, come out, they called, pushing through the grass. Come out, come out, wherever you are. They shouted, peering under the rocks, but none of them thought of looking up. The little hippo laughed and laughed. They'll never find me up here, he said. They don't even see me, even though I'm hiding in plain sight. So he's not hiding under something. I think he's hiding on top of something. That's very clever. Home free, home free, little hippo shouted as he raced up to Big Charles. All the big hippos were so glad to see him that they laughed and stomped their hooves. Where did you hide, little hippo? We looked everywhere, said Big Charles. But, but the little hippo didn't tell him. We just smiled because he knew that the big hippos would always look everywhere but up, but he never told anyone about his secret hiding place where he could be alone, but not too alone. The end. Wow. The secret hiding place. Do you guys ever hide on top of the hill at school? That's a good place to hide. Thank you so much for reading with me and I can't wait to see you next time for story time. Bye, Transition Room.